Hi, I'm Reda Alsawi. I'm the new global trainee for the Process Technology and Innovation team at Sheridan Park. So Sheridan Park is like the Technology Innovation Center um, in Valley. Uh, there's a lot of research and development that goes on there. They have many plants on, on in our research facility where we're able to do you know testing that you know the big plant can't do. It's actually unique. Um, not a lot of mining companies have a research and development center like Sheridan Park. My name is Shiv Sharma and I'm a production planner at Hot Mine. I chose Valet, it's uh, close to home. For me, it's the biggest one. I have family that lives fairly close to Sudbury now, so that was pretty enticing. The opportunity to work in some of the most uh, complex operations in the world, as far as mining is concerned. Hi, my name is Abigail. I'm a global trainee here at Valley. I was uh, in a career fair at school one day. I was walking by the Valley booth and I heard people from Newfoundland. So I was like, oh, that's exciting, people from home. So I was just talking to them a little bit about it. And I learned more about Valley as a company. I didn't really know much about it other than they operate in Labrador. Uh, so I started looking online. I sent a few emails to people and yeah, it got me kind of excited about the idea of working here. My name is David Onalo. We're currently at Clarabel Mill in Sudbury. I am the interim section leader for the process technology group here at the mill. So personally, what I've found is that the company and the people, the people make the company, right? I really open to teaching and getting you to learn stuff. So if you show the interest, I want to learn this, I'm interested in knowing this, they'll make a way that you're able to learn that stuff. I work underground now in my second rotation and one thing that I was pleasantly surprised about, uh, you know, mining sometimes has a reputation where, you know, women in mining aren't always welcomed with open arms and, you know, people have been very receptive to me underground and they're willing to teach me and it's been pretty exciting to kind of see everything on a big scale. Something that's really important to me is to actually have an impact or a change on the company and, and actually prove my worth and um, see my work actually have meaning, right? So it's been really good experience to be able to head that and to be able to, at the, maybe, you know, in five years, I can actually see that my work has an impact. Well, I've had the opportunity to work in, uh, in lean teams. So uh, teams where uh, there's a lot that's expected of you. But that's the fun part, is when there's expectations as well as uh, there's opportunities. And there's rewards at the end of it as well. Recognition and opportunities to learn some of the things that uh, might not be afforded to you if you were part of a larger team. Taut Mine is uh, probably our second largest ore producer for all the five mines that Valley owns in Sudbury. We probably have the leanest mine technical services department. And uh, so the per person productivity, it has to be there, but just the opportunity to work with some of the best people in the division, you can't beat that. If you learn those skills, you'll be able to better serve the company and we'll get more value from it, right? You get the skills, we get more value from you. So if you show the interest, you show that you really want to learn, the opportunities are limitless. One thing that's pretty cool about being at Valley is you get to see not only what's going on on your own site, but what's going on across Canada and internationally as well. Um, I've had the opportunity to learn about different sites in Brazil and talk to other trainees and people at different sites in different roles, totally different from what I do. There's a lot of uh, fully integrated mining operations in the world. You know, and within Canada alone, there might be probably five or six that you're competing with. But I know one thing is that uh, who live in a, a city that isn't a, uh, a remote camp and to be paid well, that's pretty rare. I don't particularly know what the future holds, but I know there's lots of different opportunities to do different areas and I'm not stuck in one path for the rest of my career. <laughs>